Hey guys, it's Jalen. Since almost every one of my makeup related videos involve me saying I got this from Ipsy, I wanted to do a video trying to use as many Ipsy products as I could. Most of these products I have used before. They I might have gotten them a few months or a few years ago. Some products I'm using for the first time and I'm going to do my best to go ahead and give you guys my thoughts of the products as I go along. If you don't know what Ipsy is, it's a monthly subscription that I believe Michelle Fawn started, but I absolutely love it. I've had it for like two or three years, so I figured why not try and slap as many of the products as I can on my face and see what what happens. This is the final result, but if you want to find out how I got here and what I think of the products, go ahead and keep on watching. Before we get started, be sure to leave me a comment down below of any videos you'd like to see, and if throughout the video you have any questions about any particular product, go ahead and leave those down below as well. Like this video if you enjoy makeup videos, go ahead and subscribe if you're not already. Alright, let's get started. So I already started by washing my face with a face wash that I got from Ipsy, and it's the H2O Plus Beauty Elements Keep It Fresh Face Cleanser, and I've actually used this a lot. It's almost empty. I don't totally love it. It's for normal dry skin. I'm not raving about it. I used it, like I said, for a very long time by itself and in conjunction with my other skincare products and it just didn't really have a big impact on clearing up my skin, cleaning out my pores. It didn't really make my skin feel super clean. So don't love that. And then I went ahead and moisturized my skin with the Symphony Beauty Snow Cream Moisturizer. I was looking through my drawer and realized I had never used it. I put on like two or three layers and it still just feels super dry. My skin doesn't really feel very moisturized. It still feels kind of tight and dry. So I would say this is probably better for people who have super oily skin, but I think I need something a little bit heavier. I'm going to take the Indie Beauty Buttercream Antioxidant Lip Scrub and just go ahead and prep my lips by scrubbing off any dead skin. So I will be right back when this is done. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Mongongo Lip Conditioner. I have a million different lip products and lip balms from Ipsy, but this is just my favorite from right now. All right, now onto the actual makeup. I'm gonna be using the Pores No More Pore Refiner Primer from Dr. Brandt. I've used this before, and I do find it does a pretty good job of keeping the face primed. It comes out kind of weird and clumpy, but it smooths onto the skin really, really nicely. This formula is for oily combination skin, so it is a lot lighter very lightweight. It's not really sitting on top of the skin, it's kind of soaked into it and so it definitely doesn't feel heavy or anything. It just almost has blended out like a moisturizer, but I do find it works pretty well. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and start with the eyes. So I'm going to use the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer and I'm just going to go ahead and prime my lids with this. So I, I'm going to take a very, very small amount because the stuff is super thick and a little bit goes a very, very long way. Just because that was so thick, I'm gonna take a little bit of banana powder and set my eyelid just so that doesn't crease. I've received a ton of different eyeshadows over the years from Ipsy. Some are single, some are quads, some are trios, but I don't actually have like a real transition shade, so I'm gonna use this bronzer from Pixi. It's the Summertime Beauty Bronzer, and I'm gonna use this as a transition shade. This color is very, very similar to my skin tone but I think it'll just be a nice way for any other colors to kind of blend into it that I put in the crease. Now I'm going to go in with this shadow trio from the brand Peony and I'm going to take this middle dark brown shade and blend that on the outer corner and in my crease. And I totally forgot I have a ton of brushes from Ipsy so I'm going to be taking the Elizabeth Mott blending brush for that dark color. On the lids I'm going to be using one of my favorite eyeshadows right now which is the Gold Rush eyeshadow from Ofra. On like a daily basis I'm normally just wearing like mascara and doing my brows and I'll pop this shade on my inner corner just for a little bit of color. But I'm just going to go ahead and pat this all over my eyelids. It's super pigmented, a little bit goes a long way and it's very very creamy and blendable. And for that I was just using the crown brush as a flat shade on one end and more of like a dome tip brush on the other. I'm going to go back in with that dark brown just to kind of blend the two colors together. I'm going to go ahead and continue with the rest of the face and then we'll finish the eyes when that's done. Before I do my foundation I'm going to use the City Color Photo Chic Dark Spot Corrector. I'm going to pat this under my eyes. Because this is so thick I'm going to kind of start with just using my fingers to blend it. I have a few acne scars on my forehead so I'm just going to use this to cover it up. Hopefully it'll help the foundation cover it more because sometimes they'll still kind of show through. I don't actually have a foundation from Ipsy. I got a foundation from them once or twice and it was just totally the wrong color. You can choose what products you get and I turned off receiving foundations just because the ones that I did get were such the wrong colors and the concealers I get are usually the wrong colors. So I just kind of turned that off. So I'm just going to be using my normal foundations and I'm going to be mixing the L'Oreal True Match in the color Classic Tan and the Matte and Poreless Fit Me from Maybelline in the color Golden Caramel, and I'll be right back. I use these foundations like every day, and they never really apply as patchy as they did today, and I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that my skin feels super, super dry. 
I've used the primer before, I never had an issue, but I've never used this moisturizer before. I usually like to make sure my skin is super moisturized because everything applies better when I do, but I think because my skin is so dry, everything is kind of patchy and it's sticking to drier patches, so it took a lot more work to blend out my foundation today. So there's that. For a concealer under my eyes, I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination Concealer. It's in the same color as this one, but it's the illumination formula, so I guess it's going to make my eyes look super illuminated. The color tan itself in the regular formula is already very light for me, so this might look a little bit wild, but... You know, it's what Ipsy sent to me, so it's what we're gonna use. The concealer itself blended out pretty well. Um, it's really good coverage, it's not creasing. It is clinging to a few dry patches, but again, I think that's just due to the fact that my skin is really dry right now. Um, normally when my skin's moisturized, this concealer works really, really well. I hate to blame all the faults that are happening on the moisturizer, but I've used all of these products before except for the moisturizer, and they all usually perform very well. But today, it's not working out, and I think it is due to the fact that my skin is so dry because of that moisturizer, but we're just going to move on and keep on trying to make it work. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my face with my Bella Pierre Banana Powder. I'm going to go back in with that Pixi Summertime Bronzer and go ahead and bronze up my skin. It's not the darkest color, so I feel like it's not going to do a whole lot of contouring, but I can at least bring some color back into my face. Now I'm going to be taking this Balm Springs blush from the Balm in the color in full swing. I'm going to be using this Lisa Frank brush from Glamour Dolls. I've never been a huge fan of blush. It's one of those products that I could live without, but this one I really, really like. I love the color. I think it just really kind of warms up the face. I'm going to be using my go-to highlighter from Ofra. It just says You Glow Girl on the back. I don't know if that's actually the color name, but that's what it looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and highlight the tops of my cheekbones. Oh, and I'm going to be using the Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush. My thoughts on bronzer blush highlighter. The bronzer, it works pretty well, pretty blendable. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it, but that doesn't show up so much on the face. It's just not the best color because as you can see, it's almost the exact same color as my face. So it doesn't do a whole lot of bronzing, but it did kind of help warm up my face. I absolutely love this blush. I've been wearing it the past couple of weeks and I think it's just so gorgeous and it's a really nice warm tone blush for the summer. And then you guys already know I love this highlighter. It's gorgeous. It lasts a very long time and it's very buildable so you can put on a little bit for a more natural everyday highlight or you can really build it up for glam looks. It's super gorgeous. I totally forgot about brows but I'm going to be using the Ico London Fat Brow Liquid Liner and this is in the color Light to Medium. I also do have a brow powder that I got from Ipsy but it, it's super light. So uh, I'm just going to stick with this. Brows are not my strong suit, so I'm just going to leave that and move on. I'm going to go in with this Royal and Lang Nickel Fan Brush and use the highlight to highlight my brow bone. To finish off the eyes, I'm going to go back in with that same dark brown color under my lower lashes. I wanted to do a pop of color on my inner corner, so I'm going to take this Ultra Orchid Pencil Liner from Starlux, which is this really pretty glittery orchid color, and I'm going to actually put this in my inner corner. Because I want a little bit more glitter, I'm going to take this Naked Cosmetics Desert Sunset Pigment, and it's just this really, really gorgeous, fine, like, glittery, almost like pinky pigment, and I'm going to put that on top of the eyeliner. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using the Jessie's Girl Liquid Liner in black. I'll be right back. I had to do some finagling with this eyeliner. It is a little bit hard to work with, only because the tip isn't super pointed, and also, it tends to dry out. Like, I did one eye and it was okay, and the other eye, it was definitely not as opaque. So I had to go over it a couple of times, but it's okay. It's an okay eyeliner. I've had it for a few weeks, so it could also be drying out, but it is still a pretty decent eyeliner. I'm going to go ahead and use the Wonderland Gel Coal Liner from Ciate. I don't really know how to pronounce that. C-A-A-T-E. And I'm going to put this in my waterline and tight line. And then I'm going to go on with my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and my M by Michelle Fawn Lengthening Mascara on my lashes. And I will be right back. To finish off the look, I'm going to be using my NYX Whipped Lip Gloss in the color Cocoa Bean, which is my favorite lip product right now. It's just a really, really nice nude. That's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, some products were definitely more of a miss than a hit, but overall, I think that Ipsy is a really great way to just try new things and get out of your comfort zone for a fraction of the cost. No, I'm not sponsored. I've just had it for a very long time and I love it. And a majority of my makeup collection at this point are products that I've gotten from Ipsy. But yeah, if you guys have any other questions on specific products, go ahead and leave those questions down below. And then go ahead and give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not already. And remember that you are you. No one is younger than you. Your beauty is yours and your beauty is personal.